Hi there, Leos. This is Kim here to do a reading for you guys, and this reading is going to be for your next 48 hours. I hope that fan is not too loud for you. All right. So, asking your spirit guides and your angels to join us as we get messages for your most high and Leos, we'll probably go ahead and clear out this uh, energy here. I mean, neutralize it. Neutralize it. Love this smell. Okay. <clears throat> Messages for Leo using Surrealist Tarot, and then I'm using Rider Waite Tarot to clarify and then we'll pull an oracle card at the end of that. Okay, Leo's. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck is justice energy. So of course, well, it's a major arcana. It has to do with truth and clarity. Um, it can be talking about your truth and clarity. That's how I usually read these. Of course, they're general readings, but for the, the most part, that is what it means for you. Videos. The tower in reverse, you're rebuilding. The hermit is the challenge. That makes sense. King of Cups, Ace of Swords, the Fool, the Three of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Well, let's do two for the outcome. It's not bad. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So it's not bad. Um, the King of Cups here in the past energy. Um, well, we could clarify that just to get an idea of what that's about. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, or this could be about change and and a transformation of being able to um, balance your moods. Master the mood, I guess they say. Just make sure you don't listen to everything people say. And that's that message there with the past. Okay, the Eight of Swords in the reverse at the heart of matter. So the heart of the matter has to do with you... Um, Lifting out of restrictions or boundaries, possibly ones that we put on ourselves through anxiety or thinking a lot. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is the challenge. That's about your money. Like, flat out, that's about either an offer or money. That might be a challenge. So, let's get another one for our Leos. But, all in all, though, you feel very cooperative and feel like your spirit team is guiding you. Oh, there's another Eight of Swords in a reverse. Okay, that's interesting. And the Seven of Pentacles has to do with the effort that you put in for your Pentacles. I think that's what it has to do with. Um, we have the Tower in reverse. Usually that has to do with rebuilding. Um... Are you sure you can see all? I think you can see all of them. Let me pull this one down a little bit. It'd be nice if this was maybe if I could get it tilted up a little bit. <clears throat> okay, so the tower energy. Tell me about the tower energy. Whoa. Too many. Too many tarot. Too many. The three of wands. For the rebuilding okay so why is the hermit the challenge because this is about your uh, journey or voyage that you envision for yourself you have to take really good care of yourself and be actually open to receiving love I guess if you're not open to receiving maybe that's why it's saying the hermit like getting out is probably a challenge or the hermit is 
Well, in the challenging spot, I would say that the hermit is definitely meaning that, is meaning to get out there and maybe socialize or something. You have two aces, interesting, for um, your next 48 hour. The ace of swords is what's crowning you, and the ace of wands in reverse is in the environment. The Three of Pentacles is in how you are feeling. It's in that spot. So the Three of Pentacles is about cooperation with um, not just new beginnings of information and uh, victory, triumph, winning the battle, kind of speak. It's also the Ace of Wands, which is um, in the reverse, which has to do with doing something or completing something maybe from the past. Or dealing with a situation from the past, possibly. So, with justice being the um, uh, the card on the uh, bottom of the deck and the Ace of Swords together, that would mean that there's a lot of truth and clarity. Now, we have the full energy, which is it's coming across to me as something. Um, I don't know if I want to say take a leap of faith. I want to say that it's something maybe new. Um, let's get clarifying on this full energy. Oh, oh wow. Clarifying on the full energy is the tower as a challenge. So just rebuilding in itself is coming across as the main challenge. That doesn't surprise me. Tell me about this Ace of Wands in reverse. The Four of Swords. We have Four Four. Much healing needs to be done with you, Leos, if that's on an emotional level. Or maybe you are like me and have a cold. So taking some time out. Maybe getting adequate rest. Because there's huge changes coming up. But it's something that will be like new for you. Uh... The devil energy, upright, with the queen of pentacles in the reverse. Hmm. Hmm. Challenge. Challenging either business or person. Whoa. It has to do with the energy that holds you back, perhaps. Or like purposely keeps you um, behind. That's not a good energy. So let's try to find out some more. Because I don't think anybody can. Yeah, because you reinvented yourself. And it's not just that, but it's like the dependability and um, the steadiness of your reinvention of self. That's good. So that's what I got for you. Um, five of Swords is on the bottom of the deck. I would say if there's anybody that really disagrees or you run into any kind of naysayers, then you just do you and you'll be fine. All right, so let's pull some um, Spirit Animal Oracle for our Leos, for our Leos. A challenge for a new beginning. And it's something about effort, a major effort. It's it's to escape this anxiety feeling. I have turkey spirit give with gratitude and grace very appropriate since uh, Thanksgiving's coming up right and I have dolphin spirit on the bottom this and that are true and there was a video of a girl who dropped her phone in the water and then a dolphin brought it back to her so there you go this and that are true that's awesome um Anything else? Yeah, let's pull another oracle for you. We got a little time. Let's see. 
Hmm. Not from Cryon. Let's do the modern <laughs> modern goddess oracle. She's snoopy. You get the book. Guidebook is like that. And I'll read from the book. Freya, Freya, anything else? Uh, Oya, wow, that one's never came out. That one has never came out since the whole time I've had this deck. Huh. Spider Grandmother. All right, let's look this up. We'll go to Freya. Okay, Freya says, the key word is blessings. Um, the affirmation is, I am open to receiving the blessings of everyday life. Freya is one of the most important and beloved goddesses of the North Pantheon. She holds dominion over love, passion, beauty, and fertility. She loves the finer things in life and sees the blessings um, to receive and experience. She is free with her love and known to be the goddess that you put on your ritual VIP list when celebrating, okay? Freya was often honored and worshipped by devotees for the blessings of children, happy homes, and successful magic. There you go. And then Oya's got to be important because I've, like I said, I've never, I've really never even pulled this for me. I didn't even know it was in the deck. <laughs> Oya. Oya. Wow, okay, well, this is good, Leos, this is good. Oya means breakthrough. Um, the symbol, lightning, tornado, and storms, says I am open to receiving the breakthrough that I need. Oya <clears throat> is Orisha of storms and destruction of the... Your and the <laughs> oh, okay, let's see. She is the personification of the... The river that shape shifts into the buffalo. Um, symbolic for the breakthroughs that she provides. It is the raw, unbridled, untamed, untamed, destructive power of nature, assisting us all with rapid transformation, blowing out which no longer serves us. She holds voice and movement to our soul's wild nature. As a goddess of destruction, she knocks down the old to make room for the new. All right, and then we have Spider Grandmother. Connection, the symbol, the web, the spider, the watch. Uh, affirmation is I am connected to all. The crone goddess of many of the North American First Nations people, including the Hopi, the Pueblo, the Navajo, and the Taino tribes, or Ta Tano. Um, she is revered for showing um, her people what spiritual path, or for showing the spiritual path, and for being a mentor and protector of women. It says, while we each are an individual being in separate physical bodies, we do share the same energy as all ever, all of other life. Well, yes, of course, of course we do. That's the oneness of all things. So that's what I've got for you, Leo. Sending you love and light. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a good next 48 hours. Bye-bye.